Right here, welcome back. Uh, last time we went to, f we fought spiders. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, that's, we fought, we fought spiders. Man was cheating on his wife, you know, the standard stuff. We still haven't gotten a better weapon after losing our dagger. I can't really remember too much. We've just been owning it at the moment. Like, slowly getting better. The glue keeps sticking. But, um, I actually tried looking up how to pronounce the name. Google didn't come up with anything. <laughs> It came up with a slightly different word, and, and it was Jiu, Jiu, I can't, it would maybe French, I don't know. But anyway, we just healed up in an in inn, which is fantastic, because I didn't even need to do that. Totally worth 10 gold. If I could just do that all the time, that'd be fantastic. <sighs> you stop by a desert city called Surigia. Surigia. Oh, goodness. Surigia. Yeah. Built next to an oasis, this is a trading hub where a lot of camel riding traveling merchants come and go. I think I did this one before. It's very hot, doesn't much. Take the build to find a very old map. Take the map. I think I remember doing this one, yeah, because I took the map. Yes, yes, yes. There's no only but yep, yep, map. I think I've got the map, yeah. Uh-oh, it's this thing again. I can actually do this, though. Go straight. Ooh, superior- Ah, oh, yes! I can finally- Yes! Revenge is mine! I can- Ah, oh, the first- I lost my first character to the gargoyle, I think. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I love this. Ooh, don't even dice roll, just do it. That- cl This cloak has been fantastic. Why did I have to lose my weapon, though? My weapon was great. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed I lost that dagger. I would have completely dominated. Come on. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I can't lose now. You defeat the gargoyle, however, the premonition is still there. You step on a piece of the crumbling girl, leaving the gate behind. After walking for who knows how long, you find a man sitting on a tree stump. He was humming a song. When he finds you, he stares at you with a surprised look on his face. I've never thought I'd meet someone in such a deep forest. You're not a lumberjack, are you? You're probably afraid, thinking that you will take this tree. Tell him why you came to this forest. You tell him why you came to the forest. He looks at the map, looks troubled for a moment, and then opens his mouth. Hmm. From the looks of it, I'd say it's a place called the Hall of Ancient Hero, Per Shazus Sharias. I wouldn't go there if I were you, but I doubt you'll listen to me. Piece of advice, Pat. Apparently, there's this huge gatekeeper, and you must look in his eye. Though it's just a room I heard somewhere. You take his advice and head to the destination. You find a knight riding a stumbling dog. Oh, travel over. I remember this. Yeah, how about you get off the donkey first? Continue. I couldn't choose anything else. You come across the vibe path according to the sign. In the middle left is a rough shortcut nearby to a nearby village where the right path leads to assemblies with a long but comfortable path. Well, take the left path, because... Yes, because you decide to go for a dangerous shortcut and go through some... Ah, uh, I just realised I did that last time and lost health, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Stabbed by thorny bushes. Yes, I thought so. This is the same. Yeah, take the job. This is uh, looping around a little. A small town called Everhot. Yes, I remember. Yep, let's get to the fight with the. We did this last time with the golem. Go back in there. Very inferior, great. So I'm going to, there's no way to win, is there? Yeah, nah, there's no way to win. Oh well, go for it, I guess. Yeah, 12. You have to, this is so annoying because you have to fight it. I didn't do, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I did a little bit of damage. <laughs> there's no way to avoid that. Bloody love gold. So it was 160, I have to get to 160 to beat it. Oh, you're having a meal in the tavern, a boy wearing. Oh, yeah, G give him the gold. Uh, 
Ah, yes. I think I can actually beat these things now. Inspect the garden. Find a priest. Meet a traveling merchant wandering with a large backpack. Hey, a person who's got a face in this. This is this is new. Merchant talks to you, brushing sweat off her face. Hello, dear adventurer. Crafty items of unavailable anywhere else on sale for a limited time do you want to take a look or can you show me that you have gave a hearty smile take a look <coughs> oh shovel I will buy the shovel I will buy the rope I got all the gold in the world I will buy the pickaxe um, I don't have a gauntlet so I think I can equip. Ah, it's a weapon. Hold on. If I'd known that. Oh well. I didn't know it was a weapon. Equip. I can't equip it. Oh well. Now I got all this junk, but I'm telling you that it's gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in handy. A rope. Rope is always useful. That's why it was my. That's why it was my Chris Kringle to a, to a few family members. <laughs> You're checking out some stores when a child shouts at you. Adventure! Adventure! You've, you've got poop! <laughs> you've got poop on your shoe! Can I clean it for you? Kind of specious looking bottle liquid. Presumably they are shoe cleaning pools. You look down at your shoe and indeed well with my dog. Ask for discount. Oh no, sure. Cancer delightfully cleans your shoes, kids. Hand him five gold. Go on your way. I've lost a lot of gold. I've still got plenty though. You come across a woman facing an aggressive looking man. Hey. He, hey, please. Help me. Help me. Shaken with fear, the adventurer asks for your help. The man grits his teeth as he speaks. Mind your own business and move along. Ask what's going on. So, Growls at your question, then terrified will quickly answers. He's, he's a vampire. He's trying to suck my blood. Before she can finish, the man tightens his grip on her collar. His eyes glow red and he glares at her. How dare you save her? Evenly matched. You decide to take care of the vampire and save the adventure. You draw your weapon and vampire grows, showing his claws and fangs. Alright. Oh, that is even. Holy cow. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? This is a 50-50 sh- Oh, you're joking. Reroll. Reroll. Yes. Worth it. Totally worth the gem. Ah, oh, that's better. 20. Plus 21. Why is it plus 21? Holy cow. That's a lot. Yeah, superior chance. Totally worth wasting a jewel on that. I've got like 50 bucks on my Google account, so if I want to add jewels, it'll, give me, it'll probably give me like 200 jewels for like 10 bucks or something. I haven't checked yet. 30 gold, I'm bad, I'm not bad. I did it for the XP. Just as you're about to deliver your finishing blow, Lexi intervenes. Stop it! Are you out of your out of your mind? I didn't ask you to kill him. Crying, she shoves you back and hugs him. You feel uncomfortable, leave them be. What? Is that her name? <laughs> he's a bloody vampire and she says help. And he's choking her or something. This game is it's a friggin' it's a roller coaster. One rainy damp afternoon you are strolling across the city of Hanzo. Hanzo Of Hanzo looking at the setting sun in the sky. At the moment with a blunt sound of something breaking the door. Of a nearby tavern is shattered to pieces. The man falls to the ground, rolling. He shouts after wiping the blood off his mouth with his sleeve, jumping back on his feet as if nothing happened. Hi, you pathetic midgets! I'll take you on. I think I remember this. Watch the fight. Watch the drunkard's fight. Uh, the thing I like about this is being able to, like, because I already did this in one of the previous episodes, but last time I chose to call the guards, which just ended in the fight ending. So now I should have entered the fight because I probably could have gotten XP for that. But now I can see the it from a different perspective. The commission they are making quite an audience are gathered to see what's going on. You watch drunkards fight along with the crowd. They swing their fists to no avail, roll on the floor, tackle to each other, then the dwarf knocks out the human with his punch. Ka ha ha! How dare you fight with me! They spit off, they they spit at the fallen man and return into the tavern. Just I'm just imagining seven dwarves just just because of the just because of the fair town. They're all like a man and they go they're all like, <laughs> like <laughs> seven of them gather and just spitting on him as they walk in. <laughs> then they walk back in. They spit, 
Return to the tavern after the fight is over. The bystanders go back to their business and you return to your steps some other place. Should have intervened. You meet a frowning man at a gravel beach. His apron and gloves are covered in soot. He hears your footsteps and approaches you carefully. Adventurer, may I ask you a favor? Set. You nod and he becomes excited. I'm a blacksmith trainee looking for a new kind of weapon material. I've recently went. The sea cat scales are among the strongest and most flexible. Could I have anybody? For... So I came to the nearby f ocean with this fishing rod. Help him fish. I happen to also have a fishing rod. This is why we buy fishing rods. Fish for a sea cat. He hasn't brought, bought any good bait, but improvises with a fat worm he found nearby. Just as boredom starts making a sleepy tip of the fishing rod starts shaking. Makes, bottom makes you sleepy. Pull. You pull at the rod only to find an empty hook. He lets it down to point inside. Ha. Ah, I guess that's... This is just won't do. Oh well. Sorry to waste your time. He picks up his fishing rod and heads back to town. Oh well. Was there another option there? There probably was. Use Martin's note as your guide. Martin's note? What note? I don't, I don't have a note. Whatever. Use Martin's note as your guide to find the famous print. Ah, oh, that's right. From the crib. Harder. Harder. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Is praying in the synagogue. In the synagogue? Oh. Okay. Tell him about Martin's haunted garden and ask for his help. That is very uncomfortable, but I'm afraid there's little I can do. He tells you that he has lost an important belonging of his and can't go anywhere because he has to pray for forgiveness. I'll find it. <laughs> Tell him that you can find it for him and he smiles and thanks you. He then rips out a piece of paper and draws you his lost necklace and a map. I was taking a walk out. I was... How do you do a priest voice? I can only think of the priest from... Um... <sighs> Oh my goodness, I, I, I was taking a walk outdoors when I returned, it had vanished. You should be able to find an old sanctum if you trace my path. I'm trying to go for like humble, sort of like up, out of breath. He, was walked, he has walked a great distance according to the map. He shakes your hand and wishes you luck. It's too late to say no, so he set out to find the necklace. While wandering around the city, you find a boy selling papers full of words. <laughs> when you ask him what he's selling, he pulls down his cap and speaks. This is called a news. This is called the news, idiot. Adventurer. They spread the word about famous things around the world. Saying that he offers you one of his newspapers. Give me one. You hand him the gold and read the newspaper. The first page has a story about the princess of the empire of Zeppen falling in love with the royal librarian. <laughs> Visiting the library every single day, the boy smiles joyfully and speaks. Love story like this sounds like hotcakes. <laughs> oh my goodness. After reading everything, you put the paper in the trash can and return to the streets. Ah, oh, so there's nothing useful? I guess you find out about the love story. You walk by a chilling cemetery in the middle of the night and howl echoes from within the gates. You are uncertain whether it's beast or men. Oh, well, we, we've done this before. Take a look. Yeah, we know what it is. Yeah, heck yeah. I'll find another uh, another ghoul. That's just that's just free XP right there. Look at that, bang! I'll take free XP. If only we could skip the battle now. Nice. Um. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, I forgot. Did it give me extra if I buried the body? Doesn't really matter. Wake up with a strange noise. It sounds like someone's eating food occurring intermediately. It disturbs your sleep all the night. Unbearable. You search the room but fail to find its source. The next morning you come down to fo to the first floor with shrunken eyes. The innkeeper looks at you and asks if you are okay. Talk about the noise. I put the noise last night and he scratches the back of his head. Like, ah. <sighs> <sighs> Did you hear that too? I've been hearing it for days. But I don't have a clue what it is. Why do I always keep doing the friggin'... <sighs> the innkeeper apologizes and adds, would get better. Maybe I should do the Southern American accent. I can actually do the accent. Innkeeper 
The innkeeper follows and adds it would be get better soon as he reported to the police. F investigate. I put the noise in the inn. You learned something special that a strange noise isn't only heard in the inn. A wench tells you the story. I think I heard the sounds around the sewers. May have something to do with it. You part ways where I leave. Head to the sewers. Welcome to the underground sewer. However, you can't see a thing as it's pitch black inside. Even broad day out reluctant, you leave the sewers. Alright. So I should have gone to the police first, I guess. Police? Why are there police in a medieval time? Whatever. You arrive at the sanctuary. Hard to told you about. The sanctuary was abandoned a long time ago, so it seems like there's no one there anymore. You enter the sanctuary, look for item requested by the priest. Continue on. Uh, 